hi everyone. Raji Narine Singh here, transgender activist, author, spiritualist, actress, show host of two online shows, and reality TV personality from the reality show Botched on the E Network. So I'm coming to you from my very humble home here in South Florida, USA. And yesterday I received a message from someone that I didn't expect to hear from. Uh, it was in my Facebook inbox. And um, it's been on my mind throughout the night and even this morning. So the person I heard from was um, what we called her the Duchess O'Neill Morris. Uh, she's the transgender woman I went to for my black market procedures. And a lot of you all know my story where I ended up getting very disfigured from those injections. Uh, and I'm still today dealing with issues in my body from the injections. But um, just to make the record clear, I did not press charges. The police were looking at me kind of crazy, like why I wouldn't want to do that. But first of all, I want to say I felt I needed to take some responsibility because I was an adult when I went to her. I made the decision to go get the injections. And um, granted, I didn't know what she was using, uh, but I still felt I needed to take some responsibility. And those of you who understand transgenderism and what our community has gone through and the lack of resources that we've dealt with, finally things are getting a little better, but we'll, we'll kind of understand why someone like me would go down that road. But anyway, um, and secondly, the reason why I didn't want to press charges is I felt like, okay, I can't do a civil suit like for money to maybe help me with my medical expenses. Um, so what was the use? I mean, it was one of those things that I, I felt like if I was going to exert energy, uh, why not use it to do my activism and my advocacy to hopefully warn the world, you know, people about this sort of thing. And so it, uh, you know, wouldn't happen to anyone else. Um, you know, because the, the reality is these black market injections are very dangerous. Um, people, some people get them and they're fine, but there's people that have died from them. And if you don't die, nine out of 10 down the road, you end up dealing with some sort of health issue from it. And like myself, you know, many years of that. So, um, I, um, she was in prison, not because of me. Um, not because of my case, it was another case um, that she went to prison for. And so yesterday I get this message and um, she had just gotten out, according to her. And um, I'm going to read the message to you all. Um, I have it on my desktop. So um, here we go. Uh, hey, it's me, O'Neill. I just got released from prison today and I wanted to find you to let you know how deeply sorry I am for everything. Words can't describe how I feel about what I did to you and other women. I was not thinking right honestly back then when I was doing these underground surgeries. I was so ignorant to the effects this could have had on you and these other gorgeous trans ladies. It's okay if you don't accept my apology, but I hurt every day when I think about how much pain I have caused you. XOXO, O'Neal, I'm sorry. You all know I'm, I'm, I'm a very emotional person. When I have something on my mind, you know, nine out of 10, I'm gonna do a video about it. Um, but you know, I, uh, I just, I was so touched by this and I feel the sincerity in it. I think, you know, I, I think she's really sincere with these words and, um, you know, I, I've always been a very forgiving and compassionate person. That's just 
who I am. Um, but you know, it's it's a it's well anyway. It's complicated. It's a real complicated um, situation because, you know, I know I went through so many years of pain and hardship um, and I'm still dealing with issues from the injections, but I responded to her um, in, in a pretty uh, long message back. And basically what I said to her is, you know, um, that through the years I have thought about her, I have and I've wondered how she was doing. And I told her that um, she's been in my prayers, that I prayed for her. I prayed that, you know, she would be okay. And I prayed for her well-being. <laughs> and I told her, you know, this life journey is, um, it's such a journey. And I said that, you know, everything we go through makes us who we are in this very moment. I said, the good, the bad, and the so-called ugly. And I said to her, you know, if we can get stronger from the hard times and the hardships and the, the challenges that we go through in life, and if we can learn from the mistakes that we make in life, then, you know, they become blessings. And um, I basically told her, you know, that, um, that I, I wish the very best for her life. And I, I mean that. I really do. <laughs> I wish the very best for her. Um, you know, I... Is forgiveness powerful? Is it? Um, I think I've moved on, you know, but still, I can't help to have all these different emotions, you know, and there's a part of me that would love to sit down with her and really like thrash things out and talk about it. But then I don't know. I mean, maybe this is closure and we just need to, to go our, our, you know, down our own roads and, and um, I don't know, but I just, uh, I just had to talk about this. And, you know, I tell you, I feel so blessed because you all that take the time to listen to my videos and hear what I have to say, um, all my supporters around the world, I just feel so blessed because it's because of you all that, you know, I'm encouraged to keep going and keep doing the things that I do. So I want to thank you. I want to thank you from from the bottom of my soul, really, um, for your support, for your love and support. And um, I don't know, I just, uh, it was kind of out of left field. <laughs> But I did send her this message back. I haven't heard back from her, so I don't know what's going on. But anyway, um, I guess I've said all I can say at this point. Um, I wish, I wish Duchess, O'Neill Morris, and all of you love, happiness, peace, good health, prosperity, and, and many wonderful blessings. <laughs> Thank you. God, Godspeed. <laughs>